Yo, guys, ranking JoJo villains from straightest to gays. Do you think that would make uh, <laughs> an interesting YouTube video? Do you guys want me to fucking uh, record this right now and make it a YouTube video? <laughs> um, I think that I think the chat is saying yes. I think the chat is saying yes for that. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Hey, you who clicked this video, have you ever wondered? Have you ever asked yourself? Which Jojo characters are the gayest and which are the straightest? <laughs> yes? <laughs> then this is your lucky day! <laughs> We're going to be reacting to ranking Jojo villains from straightest to gayest and then ranking every Joe star from straightest to gayest. And I'm not the one who made this video, so if you have a problem with this, don't come at me, alright? I'm just gonna react to it and make fun of it, alright? Let's get to it! Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash craftingvagino to not miss some epic anime content on Twitch. Let's go! So, uh, let's start with, uh, ranking Jojo villains. A lot of you clicking on this video are probably already saying, Is this guy making another video on Jojo's <laughs> gayness? Why does the sexual preference of these fictional characters even matter in the That's first true, place? But... Those are very valid criticisms. But look at the views! <laughs> These gay I JoJo videos get so that. many views. People I'm a tell whore me reactions for these views. Suck. I'm gonna milk these gay JoJo videos. Well, I like still some do reactions because look at the titties. views. Oh my god. <clears throat> uh, where was I? Oh yeah. I'm going to rank the gayness of the main JoJo villains of parts one through seven. I'm not going to do any minor villains because if I did, this video would just be three hours worth <laughs> of Squalo and Tiziano sensually rubbing each other's chest. <laughs> Squalo, yes! Alright, let's get started. The straightest, or as I like to call it, least gay JoJo antagonist is Funny Valentine. Oh, Funny Valentine, Valentine is the president of the goddamn United States. Oh, a, a bit of the US didn't a even bit. elect a half black president till 2008. You think they would have elected a gay president in the late 1800s? Come on now. We ain't that progressive. The second <laughs> least gay JoJo antagonist Ooh. is Yoshikage Kira. First off, he's the only JoJo villain that doesn't dress ridiculously flamboyant. I think he's the he's first also even. sexually attracted to female hands. All his severed hands belong to women. He never fucked with man hands. <laughs> Look at the way he sucks on them fingers. Now that's straight as fuck. Number three is Diablo. Diablo is pretty straight. Now you're probably <laughs> wondering, how is this guy straight? He looks like a diva with anger issues. <laughs> well, looks can be deceiving. Think about it. Diablo is an extremely efficient mob boss that leaves literally no traces to his identity. Yet, he risked revealing his identity because he had to get his nut in. He had a child named Trish that could reveal his identity just because he couldn't resist oh some God. juicy coochie. <laughs> Jojo Part 5 is literally just Diablo trying to fix his mistake of letting his straightness risk his position of mob boss. The to to be honest, never be Diablo straight. would have won if he never Ever. made that fateful <laughs> nut. Giorno and his crew would have never beat Diablo if Trish never existed. This is why the most successful JoJo villains are super gay. <laughs> now, this is the point where JoJo oh, villains no. start to get gay. Number four is cars. Usually, if you're asleep for thousands of years, your body would need time to recuperate and understand what's going on. But cars skip that step. He has so much gay energy that he immediately <laughs> striked a pose after his eternal slumber. <laughs> he also killed his whole race, only leaving two warrior men. Any straight villain would have at least left a female alive so he doesn't have to jack off the pillar milf porn for the rest of his life. But no, Cars only left two men who look like they came straight from the gay category of porn hub. Also, look at the way he dresses. He's he's just really gay. He, 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 he's, he's, he's gay. He's just gay. Number five is Dio and Poochie. Oh, Dio yeah. and Poochie were such a power couple that... It would be wrong to say one is gayer than the other. You think Poochie achieved heaven and reset the universe because Dio made convincing arguments? No! It's because Dio gave that good Awaken dick. My that dick was so good that Poochie thought Dio was Jesus after getting piped. Poochie even gathered 
36 male convicts for Dio to impregnate to make a weird ass green baby. Then Poochie tried taking care of it like it was his own love child. <laughs> In fact, Poochie took care of all of Dio's kids like he was some motivational soccer mom. But he wasn't teaching them how to dribble the ball, but instead how to kill people with their stands. <laughs> also, remember the scene where it shows how Dio and Poochie met for the first time? Pucci is at the church, probably trying to pray his gay away, and then Dio shows up like, Hey sweetie, how come you got a book about a clergyman who commits adultery and runs off to become an artist? And then Pucci's like, Huh? That's not my book. I would never do shit like that. I'm a man of God. Then Dio's like, It sounds like you want the gay. And then Pucci and Dio go, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That shit came straight out of a corny romantic comedy. <laughs> Look at Dio and Pucci laying down in bed together. They're so cute. Dio can turn anyone gay. He almost converted Avdol to the gay. <laughs> Golden hair and translucent alabaster skin, but most of all, a dubious sensuality. The kind you wouldn't expect from a man. I hear you have a special ability beyond that of an ordinary person. This true? It would please me if you'd grant me a small demonstration. If Avdol didn't escape that day, <laughs> there would be parabytes worth of Avdol and Dio oh, Rule 34. Dear. Also, Dio has such an unhealthy obsession with Jonathan's muscular body to the point that he just stole it. Ever since he got that nice body, all he does is Jeez. fuck boy poses. Why does everybody have that one photo of Dio being an Instagram thought? That's a pretty gay photo. <laughs> Jared, can you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to masturbate. God damn it, Karen, just leave me alone. I'm trying to make a video. Oh, don't tell me your gay ass is making another video about how them JoJo's are gay. So what if I'm doing that, Karen? This is my artistic expression. Is your artistic expression the reason why you haven't touched my pussy in five years? Actually, let me see that little notebook of yours. Alright, let's see here. Video ideas. Is Dio is a power bottom? <laughs> God damn it, Jared. You're gayer than I thought. Okay, Karen, the world has to know these answers. Uh, Karen took Dad? the kids. Yes, son. Dio is definitely a power bottom. God damn it, Jared. Look what you raised. <laughs> he can't even be normal gay. <laughs> what the fuck did I just watch? What the shit was that? All right, yo, I want to see the Joe stars. Who's the gayest Joe star? When guys? I first started watching JoJo's Bizarre All right, Adventure, tell me right now. Let's see who's the gayest Joe star. Who do you think it is? Let's go. I thought to myself, what a great heterosexual anime. <laughs> We got a masculine protagonist with your core anime uh, hero values. I was Giorno like, Giovanna. there's no way this is gonna get gay. But as time went on, Jojo got more and more suspect. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> the music, dude! It's like so dramatic! <laughs> Today I'm going to list in yeah, order Josuke, every eight? JoJo yeah, yeah, yeah. protagonist Not from wrong. straightest to gayest. I haven't read part 6 through 8 yet, so I oh. might not have the most accurate gaydar for those JoJo's, but I'll try my best to be fair. Number 1, or the straightest Joestar, yeah. is gonna be Jonathan Joestar. Of Jonathan is just a, a gentleman. He's too old school for all that gay shit like <laughs> face licking and stands. He even beat the shit out of Dio for disrespecting his girl. I mean, his outfits weren't the straightest thing in the world, but he's from 19th century England, which means if he was gay, they probably would have lynched him <laughs> or put him on some type of gay conversion medicine. Wait, what if Jonathan is gay and is just hallucinating all the events of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure <laughs> because of his gay conversion medicine? Why else would the main villain be a gay vampire, and the power to see and use stands can only be done by characters that dress up as male strippers? I think I'm getting onto something here. 
Number two is Jotaro Kujo. Yeah, Jotaro is, is the embodiment of a masculine straight male. He's one of the few JoJo's that doesn't show male cleavage or abs. <laughs> the main gimmick of his stand is that it punches really hard. While most JoJo protagonists used incredible strategy to beat their main enemies, Jotaro just outpunched them. <laughs> and if I've learned anything in life, strategy is for gay people. What? Maybe Jotaro should be number one. Fuck it, I already, I already read the script. The third <laughs> least gay Jojo is Josuke Higashikata. You can tell he's straight because whenever people make fun of his gay hair, he beats the shit out of them. I if disagree. I've learned anything in life, straight males will beat you up if you, you point out their the gayness. It's, it's definitely like, like not this. a sign of That's gay the insecurity. Josuke pose. You fucking fag. Shut up! Number four on I the disagree. straight to gay spectrum is Jolene Kujo. I, I, I don't know, I found Stop. the screenshot from the manga. That definitely proves that she's she's definitely not gay. I, I guess uh, Rocky really had to sell her straightness with this uh manga panel. God damn it! I should have finished reading the manga before I made this fucking video. This is where the Joe stars start to get a little gay. I'm sorry, Number but five is a Joseph gay. Joe Star. First off, he dresses like an edgy lesbian with his blue <laughs> jeans, boots, and crop top. The only thing straight about his outfit are those badass fingerless gloves. His quote-unquote best friend also dresses like this. The straightest thing we have witnessed him do is watch his mom get naked. <laughs> just look at this picture of Joseph and Caesar. These guys are just gay. <laughs> Number six is Johnny Joestar. I'm nah. not going on much here, but Johnny just looks like that sexy cowboy that's been ro rocking my dreams ran, lately. Ran, ran. Last <laughs> night, a horse wasn't the only thing Johnny was riding. <laughs> Number seven, or the second gayest Joe star second is Giorno gayest Giovanna. Only. So he it is wears Joe's a suit then. that shows male cleavage in the shape of a heart. <laughs> Giorno let a fully grown man sensually lick his face. And then right afterwards he decides, yeah, I I I'm gonna join that guy's gang. The first thing he did when he joined the gang oh no. was drink Abacchio's Italian piss. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, drink it, slut. He lives in what is pretty much gay Disneyland. I don't know what Araki thought Italy looked like, but I don't think everyone there dresses like this. Just look at Giorno's crew. They look like they frequent your local gay bar. Number eight, or the gayest gay Joe star, is part eight's Josuke. All you need to know is that he wears a tight sailor outfit and that his stand is called soft and wet. <laughs> Soft and wet's ability is that it makes bubbles. I, I, I risk my case. I still think it's uh. Karen, you know, know the you know the reason why we no. we don't have sex anymore. That's yeah, because you're fucking gay. You want to admit it? No. You just make these goddamn YouTube <laughs> videos where you talk about how all the animes are just turning people gay, and it's just because you feel insecure that you get a boner every time you watch the JoJo's. That's not true. Yeah, See, I've there's the pose I was talking about. A fucking cleavage. Oh, fuck, I've been fantasizing about Bucciarati, but zip, making a zipper on my dick, so it's like I got a pussy, and then he punched me real fucking hard. This is what you fucking raised! This is what you fucking raised. You, you can't even be fucking normal gay. He has to be fucking weird gay. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much. What the hell did I just react to? Why? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm gone. I'm gone. This is the end of the video and the end of the stream. twitchtv digital Come say hi. <laughs>